When you hear the word telescope, you would probably remember common optical telescopes with mirrors and lenses. Using such telescopes, you can watch space objects with an eye or even take pictures of them as observations take place within the visible electromagnetic wave band. An otherwise spread type is a radio telescope that records energy flows within the radio band. Finally, there is one more type of telescopes, X-ray telescopes. As far away stars and galaxies emit X-rays in addition to visible light and radio waves, X-rays can be recorded and used to study the outer space. The Earth's atmosphere is practically non-transparent for X-rays. That's why X-ray telescopes are generally launched to space. They're installed on artificial satellites. Some X-ray properties, waves with lengths ranging from 10 minus 12 degrees to 10 minus 7 meters account for focus and difficulties. Due to high energy flows, quanta are not practically retracted in the matter and are not reflected at any angles of incidence. Therefore, X-ray telescopes are special X-ray mirrors. X-rays have to propagate parallel to reflect a mirror. Such a mirror takes the form of a convergent hollow tube with parabolic or hyperbolic surface where an X-ray gets. Now X-ray mirrors are available for waves with lengths ranging from 2 to 50 nanometers. Such mirrors are made of hundreds of layers of special ultra-pure materials, ceramics and metal foil. Their production requires much effort and time, and such mirrors are very expensive. The key problem associated with recording X-ray is that an X-ray telescope is exposed to intense flows of various charged particles and gamma ray photons which are recorded along with X-ray photons. The anti coincidence technique is a solution to this problem. There is a special device used to identify the precise direction in relation to the X-ray source. It comprises a flat field collimator which includes a set of plates limiting the field of view and a star tracker which records X-ray photons going through the collimator. An occurring current impulse goes through an anti-coincidence gate. Then a special analyzer determines energy characteristics of photons. The method of aperture coding to create an image is a more advanced technique. According to this technique, the array detector is preceded by a treat mask with an uneven gating parameter due to alternating transparent and non-transparent elements. Such a structure has smaller weight, that's why it's easier to install it as satellites. However, imaging requires a huge post-processing. Existing X-ray telescopes work within the X-ray photon energy bands ranging from 0.1 kilo electron volt to hundreds of kilo electron volts. Since mid 20th century, such telescopes have been installed at various space stations. For instance, the famous Chandra Space Lab is intended for studying space within the X ray band. X ray telescopes are the right hand to study interstellar space, black holes, neutron stars, and the Sun.